Hey guys, it's Jack here from Design Modo. I'm delighted to be sharing with you the awesome news that the much more powerful startup version 4.3 is now available and has a ton of great new features. I'll show you a few of them in this video to get you started and after that you'll be ready to discover and master the rest of the functionality on your own. So let's get into it. As you can see, we've selected header 4 from the side menu. From this drop down menu, you can now choose a container within the element. This is a great new way to keep things organized. Adding an additional container is a breeze. Simply go to Add, then Container at the top of the menu, rename it as needed, and go ahead and start customizing. This time, we're adding a new container for a specific image that we want to upload. First, just set the dimensions, then select the file from wherever it's saved on your local system. Then upload it to Startup in one click, and just repeat the process for all the different images that you want to add. Now that our images are set up, let's add a new container for text this time to describe what the image is to the user. So, using the same menu, once you've clicked the text container, simply edit the text to whatever you'd like to include here on the page. And as you can see, it's really easy to customize the exact font style you need, including decoration, size, height, spacing, color, to name a few. We're going to go for a size 16 with line height 20. Now, it's really easy to make all elements fit and flow together nicely on the page. Let's take the same image and click on it. Now you can see we have full ability to customize the margins and padding for each element in relation to everything around it. It's really flexible to use and there are settings including alignment, border radius, opacity and visibility, just to name a few. And it's really easy to keep track of things via the hierarchy that's automatically created at the top of the menu as you go about customizing your site. When you decide you want to replicate the elements selected in a container exactly as they are, you can simply press clone at the top of the menu and boom, there it is. Just change the name on the new container and you can start to see the page now coming together with the three different image and text containers now nicely sitting exactly how and where they should be. Now we just need to add the images again using the uploader, as before, adding them first to the system and then selecting them for the appropriate section of the site we've been working on. So as you can see here, images 1, 2 and 3 are now coming together very nicely. In addition to creating, cloning and organizing elements into hierarchies, it's now also much easier to move elements up and down the page. You can select them in groups and move them all at once as we are doing here with the three images. Add animations in just a couple of clicks. First define the time and then the style from multiple preset templates. Go through them one by one just like we're doing here and pick the perfect animation sequence for each element throughout your various containers and hierarchies. You can quickly see how intuitively the tool demonstrates the animation as you go about choosing from the various options, meaning you can quickly toggle between them, test and see what they look like and how they move, then settle on the one that fits your site and brand the most. Once you're happy with everything, just click Apply, save your work, and just like we're doing here, click Preview to see how it all looks and flows together. Now, doesn't that look great? Even if I do say so myself. I mean, just think about all the possibilities you have for your site with the awesome new functionality in version 4.3. Now that we're happy with the design, we can use the same cloning function to multiply our hard work in no time at all. Apply and save your work, then name your new page. It's really as simple as that, guys. I hope you enjoy the new functionality as much as I have. Don't forget to join the conversation, give us a like, leave us a comment with how you're getting on since the new release. And with that, it's bye from me until next time. I'm Jack from Design Modo. Over and out.